Ah, good afternoon, or good morning, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. Just making a quick update. I'm in the UK and um, we're having gorgeous weather at the moment. Lovely clear skies. <coughs> Everyone's just enjoying the weather and just chilling out. The, uh, the lockdown's been eased again last night or today. And, um, groups of people and families can meet up and socialize as long as they're keeping their distance so uh, it's all good really anyway just a quick update wanted to show you a couple of things so see if I can flip the camera around doesn't look like I can flip the camera around so uh, let me just change the to the front back whatever camera Until I'm a rookie YouTuber, can't you? Only been doing this for about 20 years. Anyway, just made a nice cup of tea in my uh, Chinese peace mug. And we, uh, those are aloe vera, by the way. <coughs> Crashing about in my kitchen. So that's a nice cup of clipper tea. And as you can see, Clipper tea. It's made with plant based, plant based, non plastic tea bags. Yeah, it makes a lovely cup of tea, by the way. Right, so I'm mincing my words, but what, what I want to say is that did you know that something like 85% of all tea bags manufactured in the UK? probably America and probably the world are actually made with plastic fibers and if you don't believe me look it up there are videos about it on YouTube they stretch the plastic out and then they fluff it up so it's like cotton and then they weave it into tea bags but you imagine all those little micro nano particles of plastic that you're ingesting on a daily basis you have to forgive my voice by the way I had um, had quite a serious illness or was quite unwell at the start of the lockdown and it affected this eye and um, gave me double vision for a short period and also uh, affected the hearing in my right ear a little bit so if you're wondering why I'm talking a bit funny that's why anyway I'm 95% better so uh, it's all good but that wasn't the, the point of the video but yeah all tea bags are uh, plastic most of the main mainstream brands are anyway, unless you buy organic. So um, anyway, this was the real point of the video. It's supposed to be a quick update. but Okay, so uh, those of you who have been following my channel, I think there's probably about two of you. This is my fridge, by the way. This is the New Lord's Prayer. It sits on my fridge. I wrote that, by the way. You'll find that one day in the future. The New Lord's Prayer. You'll remember that I wrote it. Anyway, well, if you remember, I've been showing you my fridge and showing you olive oil and um, various different brands of olive oil that haven't been and have been actually olive oil. Well, I bought some organic olive oil, and if you check the last video, and it didn't solidify. So it was in the fridge for a whole week and it didn't even solidify. It's coconut oil, by the way. It's good stuff, though, as I brush my teeth with that. And anyway, so I bought a cheap bottle because I'm fed up of buying organic coconut oil and it turning out to be not organic olive oil and it turning out to be not olive oil. So um, I bought some cheap olive oil from Tesco's, put it in the fridge, and within a day, it's completely solid so that actually is real olive oil because olive oil will solidify at around four degrees centigrade and as you can see it's completely solid I mean it's still squishy it's not solid like ice but it's solid like oil real olive oil cost me one pound that little bottle 
and that's Tesco's. Focus on the background. So anyway, lovely day in the UK. I've got some real, real olive oil that I'm confident hasn't been um, cut with any alternatives. And I'm going to get some, get some lunch. Have a nice day. So anyway, that's my little video. Hope you're all enjoying the uh, lockdown easing and getting back, getting your life back to normal. And uh, catch you in the next video. That's my little video. Thanks very much for watching.